Feeling chilly? SG Heating and Cooling, fixing it right, day or night. SG Heating and Cooling is located at 7005 Cooley Lake Road in West Bloomfield. SG offers free estimates on new equipment and 0% interest financing for up to 18 months. Eligible equipment qualifies for rebates from Consumers Energy and DTE. SG will clean your furnace, verify it is working properly, and perform a safety inspection for only $59. SG also offers duct cleaning and sanitizing starting at $300. You can find us on the web at sgheatingcooling.com or call 248-242-6730 today for all of your heating and cooling needs. SG Heating and Cooling, fixing it right, day or night, 248-242-6730. Do you remember turning 18? Do you remember feeling independent? Was it a cause for celebration? Well, this week, four young adults in the state of Michigan will arrive at the age of independence and will lose the support of the foster care system that has seen them through some of the hardest times in their lives. They are tough and intelligent. Some will land on their feet no matter what. But let's talk about how much better the world would be if all of them had the support that allowed you to celebrate your independence. The question is, what can you do? Unring the Bell is a weekly show Tuesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. right here on Cave Radio. We will be featuring interviews and in-studio guests geared towards creating a support system for these young adults that gives them the best chance to land on their feet and truly celebrate their independence. We will be exploring ways to use the trades, music, art, and technology to unring the bell. And we invite you to join us Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Be there. You're listening to CRBRadio.com. The words and opinions you are about to hear are of the hosts and do not reflect the management, sponsors, or affiliates of Cave Radio Broadcasting. Detroit, let's go. It's 5 o'clock. Welcome to the Real Nonsense Podcast with Kristen Mail. The Real Nonsense Podcast is sponsored by Melodic Retirement Services, LLC. Prepare for your future today. For more information or to make an appointment for a consultation, call Melody at 248-301-2439. All right, tonight's guest, and it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Chanel Buckner from Hustle Girl Mixology. So, Today is Bayou Classic Day for all you HBCU people out in the world. Southern University and Grambling are playing tonight in the is that the Mercedes Benz Superdome. So we're getting lit today. We got the <laughs> drinks today. We got Chanel in the house today. So we're about to have a good time today. Yes, okay. So Chanel, let's talk a little bit about Hustle um, Mixology. What, yeah, let's talk about Hustle Girl Mixology. What is Hustle Girl Mixology and how did you get involved with Hustle Girl? Okay, so Hustle Girl Mixology is a mobile bartending company. It's one of the biggest mobile bartending comp- companies in Detroit. So we offer a photo booth. We offer the full bar with a TV. We offer anything that involves liquor and a party to give it lit. Um, like, I don't know. What else? Wow. Everything. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I mean, you come with full services then. Full You're service. About, I mean, I'm bringing the liquor. Like, I mean, the liquor, I am the liquor, liquor, but you said you bring the TVs, too. TV. It's a TV on the bar. That's something that a lot of mobile bartending companies don't have. That's what makes me unique and stand out from the other people because you know, without that, then I'd basically be what everyone else is. But, <laughs> no, I got that. I got a slushy machine. Like, you know, the 7-Eleven uh, slushy machine. I got one of wow. those. Like, I literally have everything to keep a party going. So you got some Bayou Classic Southern guys right here. So you tell me you can make a hurricane. Yes. Oh Lord. But Here like, we, go. we still drink those. Hurt? Yeah. Oh, so what, what's your what's your drink of? I mean, what do you, what's your best drink? What do you make? What's the I mean, I was drink? just wondering because I know we still was ordering those. Like we don't do that. We really? Do that. We do. We do new stuff now. You up here in Detroit? We do okay. it. We do a hustle girl drink. Sorry, you know what I'm saying. So what's a hustle girl drink? Like what? So this drink right here, like we got a blue drink. I call it a blue lemonade, but wow. it's my version of a blue and meth, like a blue motherfucker. Oh man. So, so hold it on, got, let me see this. So this drink, wow. Th- this is, and I just had to light it up. up. Wow. Yes, I had to light it up because I need y'all to see. <laughs> wow. What it that, is that you're going to end up drinking? Like when you drink, it's all this, about it's presentation. Over. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got, you got a Superman mix going on. You got a blue, yellow, and a red. What's the red? Yes. One? So the red one is a strawberry margarita. It's something a little girly. Kind of got it for 
this guy's wife, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, and, yeah. She'll, she'll appreciate that. You know, and um, this one is the peach one. And, yeah, it's got tequila in it, and then I got a um, Remy, uh, a Remy peach pineapple in this bag over here for you guys, too, because I know wow. y'all may not mm-hmm. drink all light all the time. Wow. All right. Yep, and I only use top shelf, so that's another thing. Cause like I don't like when people use like you know Jose Cuevo or you know her needles the little. Damn, bottom I thought shelf. Jose was. <laughs> uh, I'm saying you know it's top shelf that's only. Top shelf though. Come well, on. I thought I thought Jose Cuervo. Oh uh, hey. no. So what's better than Jose Cuervo? Um, Patron, you know. Well, the I, yeah, top I guess so. Shelf, I guess, you know, yeah, yeah. Top, top, top shelf. Is all right. top, top shelf. Okay, top, top okay. Top shelf. So Patron, Patron is like before. that's like that's like college gutter. Like that's like. You know. And then I like this one tequila. It's called like Espelon tequila. I use that a lot over Patron. I actually like that better than Patron. But yeah. Wow. I get it lit. So how long have you been <laughs> making drinks? Like how long? So I've been making drinks for two and a half years since I graduated in 2019. Um. Hold up, since you graduated in 2019, from college or high school? High school. This is you're my, not legal. Yeah, this is my dean of students. Right, like when I was right, high right, right, right. You're not legal. How I'm not legal. Serving? I am only 20. Oh, I um Lord, right. I am licensed to serve. I did go to bartending school as soon as I graduated high school. Right. Damn. So what happened was I was in school. And I was like texting my stuff. I'm like, girl, I don't know about me in college, but we're going to try to make it work. I went to college to be a, um early childhood education teacher. Then I got a job at the daycare, and the baby boo booed on me. I was like, "This not gonna work." Say tired of this shit already. So yeah, she started to be a teacher, end up being a bartender, and teacher and started out <laughs> teaching and, it and made, up at the bar. Yeah, basically. Man. I need to help the teachers. You know, I need to help the teachers. You learned your lesson. I definitely did. All right. <laughs> right now, what what bartender school did you go to? ABC in Southfield. All right. Yes, I went there, and then. From there, like my dad got me the bar, the actual bar that I have today. Mm-hmm. He got me that as a graduation gift, and it just kicked off from there, like crazy. So they taught you how to flip the glasses. No, <laughs> see, I don't even know how to do those kind of tricks. Still, like I need to learn, but I'm scared because you know I'm clumsy. <laughs> and if I break, you, I said top shelf only. So if I break that bottle, it's gonna be over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's over. I'm gonna be upset with myself. I can't do that. So I'm, I'm gonna. So you're not flipping I'm bottles, start glasses, none of that. No, see, my, my tricks is, you know, trying to make it as pretty as possible and make it as different as possible. But me trying to flip the bottle to make it, that's that's the wrong way for me to go. So I'm going <laughs> to share a drink recipe with you. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's called a Flaming Dr. Pepper. Mm. Right. So now two of these, person's dead. They're out. <laughs> I have yet to see anybody drive after three. Okay, what is They're it? done. So it's a, it's, it's a mug of beer, but it's got to be like, um, it can't be... What am I thinking? Like, um, um, it could be like, like a light beer, not a malt liquor, but okay. a beer beer, okay. right? All right. Okay, like Budweiser or something <laughs> mm-hmm. like that, right? So then you have a shot glass, Amarillo's in the shot glass, lace the top of the shot glass with one fifty one, something that's flammable, right? Yeah. Mm. Light the shot glass, drop it straight into the mug of beer, turn it as soon as it drops, turn it. It tastes just like Dr Pepper pop, exactly like it. I guarantee you, oh, really? nobody's driving after two. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take that. Where challenge. you learn that from? College. Oh, okay. I drunk them all the time. Well, <laughs> well. I when I woke stuff. up, that sounds like something that we don't really need to partake in. We gonna be done. No, no, but it's it's a good drink though. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I guarantee if you make it. But see, it's a law in Michigan about lighting drinks at the bar. Isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Bartenders yeah. can't do it at the bar, but Hustle Girl could probably do it. Yeah, yeah she, do she's it. not legal, so it don't, do don't apply. At this point, it's just free game. Yeah, it's free game. Now, I took a bartending class back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I took it mainly just for Don't entertainment. Yeah. And my favorite drink is a godmother. And a lot of people don't know how to make it. And to me, it's my go-to. It's, uh, if I can remember, it's half shot of amaretto. At least I take mine a shot and a half of vodka. Half shot of amaretto. Twist the line. Mm-hmm. And like I said, just like you said, two or three of those, you're straight. And you know what's crazy, though? So that little bartending, but really, I just went to bartending school so I could learn how to pour, like, one, two, three, four, you know, how yeah. to pour shots, shot, stuff like Eight that. Eight counts and all that. Yeah. I didn't learn nothing as far as <laughs> what recipes I was supposed to make. Like, to this day, I still have never worked in a real bar before. Wow. Ain't that crazy? I've been in the game for two years. I had 40, this would be, like, my 46th event this week. Um, and it's one year. 
Wow. So Entrepreneurship really, though. is the key. Yes. That's great, especially given your age. Yeah, this is my 46 events, so, and I still have yet to work in an actual real bar, but I am TIP certified, so I know how to serve in a bar, you know what I'm saying? I know Boom. the rules okay. and all of exactly. that, but I don't know. Like, you ask me how to make certain drinks, I'll be like. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had to give somebody water? Of course. All the time. After yeah. they take this blue one, I'm telling you it's over. <laughs> like, that blue one, you, you need some pretzels, peanuts. <laughs> I had somebody slip me a glass of water. I went to a concert at uh used to be Fifth Avenue down mm-hmm. at um Comerica Park. And I wasn't drunk or anything, I just was sleepy. And I sat there and whatnot and I guess I nodded and next thing I looked up and there's a glass of water sitting next to me. I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh man. That's your Because that's that's what bartenders are supposed to do. When you see somebody tipsy, that's you shot. start feeding them water to water them down. Well, well you're, 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 you're eighty six year old something. You yeah. well you were you are like legally on the hook. If you overserve somebody and they drive away yeah. and oh, hurt somebody, over. definitely. I, I um, definitely had to get so. Um, I think this summer I was doing a pool party and I had just served this girl a drink. You know, sometimes pool parties maybe on drugs and stuff like that. Right. And she passed out and I just served her this drink, so I'm like, I knew it can't be on me. Right. But if the ambulance came. And then I'm a mobile bartender serving drinks here. That's automatically my fault. So as soon as they even in it, bartender insurance. Wow. Yeah. Um, everything. I had to get all of that. Like bartender, bartender insurance. insurance, bartender license, bartender tips, all of that. You got to get that because wow. it's so much stuff that comes with serving liquor that people don't know. Like you don't know how certain people going to take surgery. Even people that's diabetic, you mm. taking my drink and it got a lot of sugar in it because it's mixed. Right. And I don't know that. So. I got to make sure that my ass is covered. <laughs> <laughs> right. And see, that's what I say about young people like, oh, I can't get a job. There's nothing to do. Start your own business. This exactly. is a prime example of just getting out there, doing your own thing, starting your own business, getting your own brand. When I saw it, I was like, listen, first I called. I said, hey, you, you got to do our wedding or reception or something, right? <laughs> then I said, hey, you got to come on the show. Like, it's important that we uplift people who are out there doing their own thing starting their own business all of that so i've known we've known each other for probably what, three years now four years yeah now? four years around. okay yeah yeah so 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 the backstory is uh <laughs> chanel went to school where i was the dean mm-hmm. right okay so she graduated of course had her stuff together then and then i saw her on facebook and i was like okay bet she's really doing her thing like she's doing her yeah. thing yeah and I said, okay, you got to come on the show and you got to talk to people, particularly young people, about just getting out there doing your own thing. You know, it, we ha- if we put more people in front of people who are doing these things and we start bringing more people together who mm-hmm. are doing things, then we can start, you know, growing our business, like these local businesses, and start growing and start networking together. It's just not enough of it because mm-hmm. we work in isolation. I think I've said that a couple times on the show before. So let's let's try these though. I want to I want to I want to try to hustle, girl. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Not, not, yeah. Th- I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared because it's snowing outside, but at the same time... I'm scared, um, too. Like, I'm nervous because, for me... I got a G. Another thing, I do not drink. <laughs> and I got insurance. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you know. I don't drink my own products, so I <laughs> rely strictly on you guys' taste books. Okay. Now that's, sip that's good it. to hear. You're not going to sit here and get drunk on the air. We're going right. to sip it, though. We're going to try it. I don't know. I got a bad habit of, like, finishing stuff. You the cave? This is... Getting drunk out the air is like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the newest thing in time. Yeah, so you, you, okay. you haven't looked in the refrigerator, has it? So we got these blue wow. ones. I, got, mean, I, I am just. Listen, oh. I have never. <laughs> in, in college, I have never had a drink. We get a whole one of these? Did, did. You'll get a whole one. A whole oh, one. Man. That's what I was saying. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take the blue. Hold up. Which okay. ones are the Remy? Okay. Which one is the Remy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the ones when you shake it, these two are the Remy ones. These okay. two are the Remy ones. Okay, well, my last name is Mark, like, so Mike? give me the Remy. The blue one. Here, this is the Remy one. Okay, so Thank you want a blue one? Yes. Mike's going to try the blue one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. We're going to keep one of these in the bag because that's not for y'all. That's not for y'all. We got another blue one. Who want to go ahead and be the risk taker? Which one do you want? This has three different right. liquors in there. It's Hold up. I got to think again. <laughs> Eric, which color do you want? That mango look good. Um, the mango. Yeah, she says this one has got the Remy in it. That's the Remy one, so that's the only dark one. Whichever one's the foo one. What's that was a pink one. Fruity. Yeah. Oh, fruit. Okay, here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And there what's the second fruity? The peach one. That'd be me. All right, here. All right, Kurt. I'm a real man, real I man. I thought you no, was going to no take this blue one. I wanted you to get lit tonight. Uh, 
I want right. real man. Give me the one that lights up. Well, see, I, I'm the only one to stay. <laughs> I stay. I stay in Nova. So okay, you probably just stay in okay. Nova. It's not I'm, that bad. It's I'm right down ninety six. I'm right. good. See, see, I, I drive through three counties to get home, so I'm not gonna be. <laughs> but we gotta pass. Out. We gotta pass Redford Hook though, right there. So, so <laughs> okay, so hey, hustle girl mixology. Yeah. Oh, Cheers. All right. Cheers. See you on the other side. Wow, that's just good. It's good. That's good for real. You're just talking. No, I'm not. Oh no, it's really good. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Okay, now what's, what's the fizz in here? I can't tell you. Ah, tell you, you gotta you. kill you. So drink some more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you like it though? It's, I, it's a punch, so it's a pineapple punch. Wow. wow. That's wow. that's that's nice. I like that. It's not overbearing, it's not you know, it's just something that you could probably drink off for about thirty minutes to catch up to you. And yeah. you he's know, over you there looking at the sparkles in there. He does not. I, well, I, <laughs> I know about the shimmer. I've got a buddy who makes uh, cannabis infused wine. Oh yes. And we should talk when we're not on the air. <laughs> wow, <laughs> cannabis. Listen, all kind of business opportunities are open up. Oh, yes. wow. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. The power of networking. This yeah. is this is actually this is peach and what? That's a peach margarita. Wow. And. I you take pride in like, you know, how when you go to a bar, you can actually take the, you could taste the liquor in their drinks. Right. I don't you like that. Already? That's why I don't uh, like I drinking. Do. I don't like to taste yeah. the liquor in my drinks. Like I want to get <laughs> messed <savor>. up <laughs> and not know I got messed up. Wow. Right. <laughs> now you could you could probably market these though. Really though. Mm-hmm. Um, I use I use those bottles and I ship those around the way. I like when people can go home and pour ice over it and it don't melt. And, I mean, it don't melt and water down. So. I Man. like to use those bottles so you guys can enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, this is nice. I'm about to get you a nice. couple of jobs. <laughs> right, yeah. Man. So why you don't, so the hustle, what's up with the hustle yeah, girl? Uh, the logo is not on there because I just bought the bottles today. Oh, <laughs> right now. okay. Right, you know, it's a, it's a plastic shortage. You know that? No. It's a big plastic shortage. It's a liquor shortage, a plastic shortage. They're trying to take me out the game, but. I'm out to prevail. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. A plastic Man. shortage? It's a plastic wow. shortage. Like, I went that's to part of the boats that stuck out. Yeah, that happened. makes sense. I just went Man. to um, Gordon's for my last event, and I think I got three bags of plastic cups. It came out to like $36. I was like, <laughs> well, not coming back here. Wow. It's only 60 cups per bag, like per. Wow. Damn. It's definitely a plastic shortage. Now, tell me this. Who... Gave you the idea to make your own business out of it. You know, is that just out the gate, or did you? I wanted them people that stay up until four o'clock in the morning. All right. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> like I see my dad. My dad always been a hustler. Right. So, like I was like, I'm a hustler too. Like I like hustlers. Hello. So I was like, Hustle Girl Mixology at three o'clock in the morning. That's how I came up with my name. Then when he got that bar for me, like I didn't see that bar for myself. I had a my first event. It was a table. Right. It was a regular long table that my auntie had to give me at her own party uh-huh. that she with me at. And it was just a hot mess. Like, I had a blender. The blender <laughs> wasn't working. My ice was melted. The blender, I got a $12, $12 blender from Walmart. Wow. No. Hey, whatever gets the job done, though. I mean, come on. Listen, if your first gig isn't a nightmare, you're doing it wrong. Exactly. <laughs> like you, you learn, you learn so much. Just that one gig, I learned like, oh, this not gonna happen. I can't do this. Nope. First of all, we gotta go back to Walmart and go get a real blender. Cause mm-hmm. I can't. I'm talking about Hamilton Beach, like, t- you know, the cheapest blender you could find. I was like, right. yeah, I bought that myself. No, it went one event. I'm talking about the blaze was so dope. <laughs> 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 I wasn't <blending> nothing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would buy with the logo on it. Mm-hmm. I would buy a case of this shit. I really would. Yeah, How about case? I mean, it's convenient. You makes know, makes me rethink my whole thing. It can thing, stay hot. I didn't like you can chill it. And as long as you don't crap. open it, it's good. It's, yeah. it's uh, what's really good lit. right? Get <laughs> lit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What's the what's the price point on it? Like, get lit. They yeah, are, it's got a light bottle. They're twelve dollars a bottle. <laughs> twelve bottle. <laughs> Only twelve dollars a bottle. Okay. And that's sixteen ounce bottles, so yeah. that's like pretty affordable. Well, <laughs> no way! No way! I'm buzzing already. Oh, exactly. I felt a little, little, I'm saying, little like, shift I, going I on. I'm like, right, wow. I mean, right now there's people who will buy like the little four packs. Yes, the of, little of, yeah. of, of you know super craft beer for thirty five dollars, and you get four cans. Right. Cans. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So this is twelve dollars for this box. Only twelve dollars. How wow. many you got and left? It's quite a few. In this I got forty eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a fitting right here. You got tape? We got tape. I got a hundred dollar bill. This is how we listen. When you when you connect with with, with the oh right people, God. that's how it goes. Like whether you have in a the trunk, they just gonna buy that shit out. Just you just drive home you empty. Like, yeah, you should have came stock. I really did not know. You know, y'all was gonna actually like it that much. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. <laughs> your, your number on here? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you on you on Facebook? Instagram, yes, I'm on that? Facebook, Instagram, Hustle Girl. Uh, I'm about Mixology. to blow your DM up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. So, oh, Super Bowl. Yeah, okay. Oh man. Uh, there we go. Yep. So Super Bowl, Super Bowl. We gonna have to. We gonna have to get you. Right. Come on, you can keep right. saying that. I'm waiting for you to actually book me. I need you to see this bar in okay, real life. Okay, so I'm saying this on the air right now. I'm booking you for the Super Bowl. Oh, that's okay. a lot. We're going to figure that out. We're going to figure out how we're going to do it and where All we're right, going to okay. put it, but we're going to do it. That's okay, a freaking great. lot. Skip that. It's a lot. <laughs> no. There it is. So you heard it. All right, there got it you. Is. There it is. Man. So, so who, what kind of events have you done recently? Um, This past year, I did a lot of Detroit rappers like... um. Like Pac Man, it's a lot of Detroit young rappers like Pac Man. Uh, this is a rapper named Pac Man in Detroit. F B F M B Pac Man, something like really? that. Wow. Look, a lot of young What's rappers. What's F M B stand for? Don't get me to ask. Look, you see, I barely even know this <laughs> man's name. This you know what I'm saying? See, look, look, he him up, I barely know right him. This ain't Pac Man. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm about Google him. Shit. So who else? Um. Just a lot of young Detroit rappers. Like but it's real just, talk, they it's weren't the, there for the rappers. They were there for the drinks. Right. It's <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's this person named Neighborhood Superstars. He does a lot of car shows. He did a car show. He did car shows at Eastland before it, you know started before it really got closed. Yeah. Right. Um. He d- does car shows at uh the Southfield, the old Southfield AMC Theater. I think that's it. That is that's the AMC. Yeah. Um. Damn, I haven't been there in years. Yeah, Shit. Gosh, we did a car show there. It looks oh. so nice. It's like that's a nice place to have a car show because the picture is going to come out so good from wow. just that. You know, back in the day, people used to come there just to and show off their nice car and just, yeah. just to go to the movies because right, it's, right. it's a nice scene, scenery it to is. be in. It is. Um, yeah, just a lot of people around the city as far as like in the car industry. I'm really big in the car industry. That's where I really took off in the car industry. Especially because, you know, my dad, he he does mobile detail, 303 Mobile and Global. Okay. So me and him go head to head. When he got an event, I got an event. Got you, got you. So That's you just dope. take the booth, you set up, and it's on. That's it. Boom. But we working on getting a trailer. That's what we need. So you want a Hustle Girl Mentality trailer? A trailer. With the logo on the side of just a I big ass trailer. I want it to have a patio on it. Ooh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. We're yeah. trying to get a custom trailer built for me. Don't underestimate the youth. Oh, yeah. Don't underestimate it. When they're ready, they're they ready. They yeah. got to come strong. Like, And then another thing with me is what I hate about us business owners is, or especially in Detroit, I feel like a lot of us are copying each other, and they don't really love whatever crab that we're copying off of. So if I was a barber, my friends want to be a barber, too, because they see I'm making money as being a barber. But now you messing up people here because that's not something that you really love. Okay. Same thing with bartending. There's so many new bartenders out here, but not as like they try to copy off of me. And I have to figure out ways to evolve so they can't keep up. That's that's my my motivation to keep going because it's like, you cannot catch me. <laughs> man, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, this is totally awesome. This is totally awesome. So you got a so did you have a website yet or? I do not have a website. Just Instagram. Okay. And Facebook. Okay. So two things I'm gonna say. Okay, come on. I'm gonna build your website myself for Boom. free. Period. That's what I do. No so way. You, I'm gonna build it for free. Trust me, I'm gonna build it for free. I'm gonna take care of it. We're Thank gonna book you. you for the Super Bowl, and we're gonna build your website. Oh, you're see, knock I need it to come out here more often. So the real nonsense podcast gives back to the community and uplifts the community. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna build a website. We're gonna get you for the Super Bowl. You're gonna get everybody drunk as hell for the mm-hmm. Super Bowl. <laughs> 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 Look, come with the come with the headbangers for the Super Bowl. Get I'm everybody. Coming. Yeah, gonna I'm gonna tell them. Get a Uber. Uber. Yeah. Definitely Ooh, gonna need get your Uber, Uber credit on card, an Uber gift card. I be having people staggering, y'all. Y'all don't want me at y'all Super Bowl party. Yes, we do. Oh, you, you just you said the magic word. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. If I ain't feeling it, you ain't killing it. Okay, That's what great. I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey. I be having everything. I be having wow, beer, wine. Yeah. I have everything. It's easy to go down too. I know, right? Man, I'm trying to preserve it. But it's funny because <laughs> one of those blue ones, though. It's funny because one of those blue ones. 
the nozzle to the the pour got stuck, so it may have a little bit more. Which one is that? Which one is that? Hold up. It's probably. <laughs> <laughs> he feel like he just not be feeling it. So look, but this pink one's really good. <laughs> exactly. Which one is the best one though? So look, so which one is the best one? Your favorite. I don't drink, remember? Yeah, that's that's why I'm day, not day, not day, not day, not day. Right, exactly. You know? <laughs> right. So, look. Now what, we go off air. Okay. <laughs> so, you, I mean, th- what's got me today mm-hmm. is, like, the, the the packaging. Like, I just never had a drink in something like this. I, You know, I would never even think to have a drink in something like this. And this is so, I don't know. I, I mean, the logo on it is just Right, we're going to get well. a logo on there. But I literally just picked them up because it's a liquor shortage. So, I mean, it's a liquor, a packaging shortage, everything. So, I have to keep finding ways to get around certain things. <laughs> going on lately because you could, you could go to the liquor store and be like like back when um, COVID first hit like, Patron was like a hundred dollars down there for a fifth so <laughs> so right. so last week I went to my fraternity had this thing downtown so I went I went to it they had a tent I got there early I left early because I felt old as shit so I left <laughs> just too many young guys just felt old as hell but anyway the bartender fixed me a drink it was uh, 1800 pineapple margarita and mm-hmm. it was already pre baked right yeah Loved it. So I went home and I bought one. Me and the wife went through it. It was gone. So I said, damn, I got to get another one. So I'm going to drive all the way to Detroit from Novi to get this shit. I don't want to <laughs> drive, you know, for a drink. Right. So I Googled it. And then I found out in Novi, they opened up this place called Total Wine. Mm-hmm. The prices are insane. So when I paid twenty five dollars for an eight mile, I got the shit for fifteen ninety nine. Yeah, that's what I love Dang. about. Yeah. I live in um, Canton now. Yeah, and I total love wine living is in the suburbs because one, I could find any liquor that I want, and you know it'd be like bull crap liquor behind a glass, you know, <laughs> behind the glass in Detroit. But if I go to Canton, I could pick out whatever liquor, bring it to the table myself without having to feel like I'm the drunk. <laughs> but having to ask them, like, I need this, this, this. I just yeah. bring it up to put myself there. I've never been in a liquor store like that. Everybody has had bow ties on, white shirts, black pants, dress shoes. Man. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really, it's really, the, the presentation mm. of it all is really dope. No, um, I'm used to know, the ones yeah. laid, people laid out on the sidewalk out front in Detroit. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's nobody <laughs> laid right. out. You know? None of that shit. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, really? <laughs> None of that shit. Like, but, uh, you used to Ned the Wino out there like, man, what's that? <laughs> 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 but but you know it's it, it's it's really dope and and the liquor is very cheap very cheap but this is this is places that got state minimum wine is where I'm at I'm there my best friend stay minimum if they don't stay stay minimum on that that uh, window I'm not going so how long did it take you to put all these together like an hour um I started at two I was probably done by like two thirty wow. Yeah, I, I'm I'm procrastinating still to this day. So see, 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 what's gonna happen is you gonna come <laughs> on the show like this, and then you are gonna meet guys like these, and, and they, then like, next day they're gonna ask you to ship this shit. And, and come on, I'm and ready. Here we go. It's crazy. Ready. I'm I'm I gotta ship some out this week to someone in Atlanta, wow. and he, I don't even know this man, but he's been my like one of my top customers. So don't mind paying whatever price I tell him, cause you know. When you got to ship a heavy container and right. during the holidays, that crap be expensive. Yeah, it is very expensive. He don't mind. He be like, go ahead, tell me whatever price it is. Just just give me my product. I'll be like, okay. Well, I ain't balling like that, but I'm going to order uh-huh. it. <laughs> but that's dope, though, because people out of state are probably going to be your biggest customers. Yeah. You know, just you packaging. I can't wait. Like, I think this winter I'm ready to get my truck on the road. This is my first year actually having a truck and I not having to go to, you know, U-Haul or anything and tug my bar around. I got my own truck now, so I'm thinking I'm about to get these wheels put on and be on the way with my dad because he can't be here in the wintertime washing cars because it's going to be too cold. So Damn. I might be following me, following behind him, like, where, where are we going? Are you going to the track? So what's the what's the big vision here? I mean, what's the... What's your big vision with, with this? I mean, is the, this- the dream is to have a, a building on liver noise, just to start off. A building on liver noise to me would be like like mind-blowing. That's like the biggest dream. Um, work that way up to a, a, a building downtown near Monroe and like near the whale bar. Oh, I'm going to be killing it. I want a, I want a daiquiri bar. We All don't right. have that here. 
Wow. I, did, I, didn't we? Yeah. It's I, nah, amazing. I can't. Now, see, you know what that's called. Right. You know what that's called. Serendipity. There it is. <laughs> now I can't help you out. I can't help you out. I can't help you out on Livernoy, mm-hmm. but I might be able to get you into a spot on the North End. Really? No. Yes, I'm we looking. We two things to talk about after the show. All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Look, see, I, I love it here. So when we were when we were in college, uh, Southern was on this side of town, and Louisiana State LSU was on the other side of town, mm-hmm. right? And LSU had this bar called Beat the Clock. Beat the Clock. I remember going there vividly because I didn't remember coming. Back. <laughs> but I definitely remember going in, right? So beat the clock, the drinks, this is how this drink setup was. From four to five, drinks were fifty cent, then a dollar, then a dollar fifty, then two dollars, mm-hmm. and then they went to regular price after that. Listen, <laughs> whatever drink, that's whatever drink you asked for, that was the price of the drink. Fifty cent. Damn. Fifty cent. The bar was hacked. Of wall course. to wall. Every, I bet it was. Every Good freaking God. day. With music. With music. Live music? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. A- after 4 o'clock, uh, all, the music, all like, the music was live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just surprised that the Northern States doesn't have, like, a Fat Tuesday up here. Like, I'm surprised yeah. we don't have a Fat Tuesday and, you know, the, we can be able to walk around downtown Detroit with the long cups of slushy mixes and stuff like Absolutely. that. The way things are going, it's, Detroit's going to... Open that up. Exactly. That's why I need to be the first one on it because <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get this done in the next seven years. Like, I need this done ASAP, like, now. So you just pay attention to, I guess, the events like that. Uh, what's it? Uh, the Jobby Nooner thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, you should be down there on, on somebody's boat or whatnot. Uh, you don't know you me. Know. I be there. Ah, there it is. I be there. My boy These Mike bottles right there, them bottles be on the boat. <laughs> I don't be playing wow. around. People be walking on a the water. A case of these on a boat, yeah, that's that's Man. that's that boat is docked. It's a, yeah. Yes, Man, that's what I'm talking you know, about. You crash a boat now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fuck a boat up. Don't get. <laughs> don't think you can't get drunk and fuck a boat up. It, it can happen very easily. <laughs> Y'all are not that bad. That, that's not. Yeah, walk get on the water and don't get wet at all. Okay. Shit. I, I mean, I'm. This yeah, should go in the car. Like, I'm, like, I, I'm like halfway through, man. Y'all slacking. Right. No, I'm like, I was wondering, like, y'all sip it slow. Shoot. This is not gin right, and juice. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Right, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Just, oh, that's really? what's up. Wow. Yeah. Too bad they ain't got Freaknik still going on. You, do y'all, down you guys remember the old Aces nightclub in Hamtramck? Yep. <laughs> you do, Terry? Yep. I've never been there. Nah, dope. Really? Um, yeah. You so it's it. an event center now. It's the event center called the Event Circle. I bartender. I'm a uh, resident bartender. So basically, I just I'm the only bartender because I'm the only one with all my licenses and everything to bartend. But they're trying to get their license back. When that happens, then it'll probably turn to a real club where I will have to hire bartenders for it. However, I bartend there when it's like a club, and that's the only time I get a, a taste of what a real life at being at a club is like, and it's lit. Like, we I get to, to make my own drinks. We're gonna talk after the show because you need to throw your own events. Yeah. Just so bam. when you put, when you put a truck up, what's the fee for put? How, how many hours and what's the fee when you put a truck up? Okay. So for me to come to your event, it starts at four fifty. Now this is this is before prices liquor go. included. Liquor included for four fifty. Four fifty. Okay. See that's what I'm saying. Okay. Give me your number. Super Bowl, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is for like three hours, and then after the three hours is up, that last few hours, whatever, it'll be a hundred an hour. But that's nothing, cause you will be spending more than that just on those bottles that you have to pour for the party. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Especially you got people pouring that stuff. That liquor would have been gone for that four fifty. So right. four fifty for how many hours now? For three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Wow. Oh, that's enough to. With these bottles, three hours. Yeah, and that'd be over. Sixteen ounce cups. Oh, yeah. Everyone over gets two. sixteen ounce cups yeah. all night. Like. Everybody feel good, all that. Wow. Man. And this is for like, and that's for at least 30 to 50 people. Oh, we were talking about my bachelor party. That's what we were, that's what we were going about. I don't know what we was talking about, but I was mad at you because I was like, (laughs) I can't do the wedding. I can't do the wedding. Something. I can't do nothing. I I couldn't have you. We had, I couldn't have you there at the bathroom. It's strippers. <laughs> <laughs> but they were bootleg strippers, I, though. Why you have bootleg strippers? I could have got I your strippers in there. You could have had the young tenderonies up in wow. there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Dog. I'm this is you. not where the GPS said we were going, <laughs> man. I got everything you guys need oh, to no. keep a party. So I even got the loud speakers, like party speakers, man. the Bluetooth speakers. I got everything that you need to make a party lit. Like, I could hire people. I got everything. 
Big you gotta Lenny, change your name to Sweet Lenny. God damn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but see, but see, you know what? I didn't have. We, there's no way we could have got the truck upstairs. There's no way we could have did that. I would have came downstairs. Dang that. You got the yeah, who upstairs? Look, we was downtown. When you hire a waitress. We were downtown Man. in a nice, a a nice apartment building on Woodward. Man. Um, you yeah. should see this old loft that I had to do on like West Grand Boulevard. It's this loft that I bartend at too. But how are you gonna get the? Oh, you could have got some I, of the stuff up there. It's not a truck. It's the, just the bar. Let's pull that boy up there. Oh, boom. See, I, sh- I see. Yeah, he be on. He cool. be on bull crap. I, I was know, like, I, I, I was literally DMing him like, okay, wedding. Ha ha ha. I'm in. A, I'm in the comments <laughs> like wedding. Lol. Oh, I'm a. I can't wait to bartend the, the engagement party. Ha ha ha. Now, now the bar. Okay, so what we were told, we got married all the way out in Commerce Township. My wife picked this place. In, mm-hmm. Bless her heart. I love my wife. <laughs> but she picked this place in Commerce Township. Beautiful mm-hmm. place. Um. But you couldn't bring food or liquor into mm-hmm. the venue, period. Um, period. Okay, so, what about the engagement party? What about the parking lot? What about anything? <laughs> 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 it was some way around it. I knew you had something at home when you got back something. It's this is called girl. the hot seat. Hustle girl. Yeah, this is called the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the Super Bowl is going to happen. All right. right. We're, we're saying it's gonna Definitely. That's so going to happen. So I'm going to just down. let you off the hook, sis. The Super Bowl oh, no, 450 is done. That's, right. a, that's a done deal. We're gonna we're gonna work that out. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna figure out how to make this happen. That with the squares. When January hit, prices is definitely going up though. Oh, that's that's tax time. You know what's crazy right though? There. Right. So I just did a bartending competition, and I was so upset about it because one, it's like I got three sets of family. I got my mom, my dad, and my stepmom side. But why my stepmom side has been coming to every single event? And both my dad and my mom's side hasn't come to nothing. In this competition, I needed them to come because I need y'all to vote for me. And so I'm at this event. I'm bartending. And what we had to do was we had to give out free samples. Mm -hmm. And they would get two tickets. It was was supposed to be three tickets because it was supposed to be three bartenders. And they would get a sample of our drink. And I'm giving them samples and everything. And kind of found out, like, they basically cashing in two, um, two tickets for my one sample. And I'm not noticing, and then basically the whole everybody that's there is one of the, the other bartender's family. So oh, two of wow. And they'll, they'll basically buy her drinks, and I'll be giving out free liquor. And then the fact that she won, and let me tell you why she won. She only won because her family was there? Because me and her had the same bar. We had the same exact bar. But mine is, like, 100 times better. Like, you don't, you can't compare to me. Like... It was no, it was no person, personal, like, it wasn't nothing customized, nothing. It was just a bar. What? It was cheating for sure. And then they was like, <laughs> you know, you know. So, look, I already know how my family is. Because I could see if it was a 50-50 situation where she actually could have won, then my family would have marked her all as ones. That's what my family would have did, marked myself as all fives. You know, that's what you're going to do for your family. Right. And I know for a fact her family was doing that because they had to make sure. Like, But in their hearts, they already knew I won. Man. And I knew I won, but I was so mad. I wanted to cry because you know he's so mad. They over here, come on, hustle girl, come on. Come. You know you did your thing. I'm skip all of y'all. I heard that pay my bar up so fast. I was so upset. <laughs> They was like my family. Like, it's like five family members of mine there compared to her a hundred. So, like, so without naming names, mm-hmm. what's the worst event you've done? That without, one. That one. That one, that one was definitely because I had wasted so much free liquor having to give out samples. I had. I'm asking them people like, and he kept coming back for that blue one. So, that's three liquors itself and just in there. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, and he not. And also, yeah, his, you go, light, his lights going out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, if you go into a bar to the competition or anything, I would expect, or if I was to play on one, I would expect my people that was getting samples to be tipping their bartender at, along with their free drink. Right. I'm not getting no tips. They just cash, she cashing in their little, they little tickets. So I'm, I'm just was irritated. And then on the um, vote thing, it said personality. I knew I had a one on that. They could have gave me a one on that because by the end of the, the night, I was done. Oh, I was, you were done anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I <laughs> Uh, probably until next you, week. Till you're drunk enough to not notice. <laughs> <laughs> so when the light go out, then you, you need them to find your keys. <laughs> right. Exactly. Until you need to find your keys. Oh, that blue one looks like a, a, a nutty professor. And I know you've seen that uh, watermelon on the bar. Where? Oh, where? Right. <laughs> like, he said, Oh, these drinks are working. Everybody oh hooked. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. That's like, ridiculous. I'm scared of that one, for real. That is my whole See, this is what I'm talking about. 
Hold on. Oh yeah, see that. Hold that's on, hold what's on. Up. You missing it? You missing it? That's that's hold that's, that's the watermelon one. It's the watermelon. Wow. Oh, she she got a she got a. If y'all can see, she got a spigot on the watermelon. I'm like, man. Wow. What the? I just be right up under <laughs> there, just like, yeah. oh, wow. about speaking. Yeah. <laughs> just turn it on. We're old. We're old. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you, you call that age. shit nowadays? I'm 52. <laughs> I'm 52. Excuse me. They didn't tell you. They didn't. They, 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 they didn't tell you this is the country bumpkin hour. Right. No. <laughs> Well, I wasn't even going to, I was just saying what is. He already that's, knew what I was about to ask, like spigot. That's, that's, that's the right. drink talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a spigot. Man. <laughs> They're drunk. They just say all kind of shit. Right. I'm going to let you go. I only, I only got a quarter of this drink to go, so I'll, I'll be good. <laughs> Can't call all right. That that's anymore. only two more, two more swallows. Go ahead and finish it up. You can no, feel I'm, it more. I'm not slamming it. I'm not slamming it. Right. You can uh, feel wow. it more. I, I know I'd feel it more. I feel the flute <laughs> more, too. So the light only comes in the blue one. Yes, because I just like the presentation doing that better. No. It's not going out. It will not be going out no time soon. Wow. Yeah, That's gotta incredible. Get the blue one. That's Man. incredible. Got to get the blue one. Got to get the blue one. That's and incredible. And then I got my slushy machine. That's my top seller, the blue one in the slushy machine. And don't let me add the edibles in there. Oh, oh. oh Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so hold on. So the slushy machine is a part of the 450. It comes with the... Yeah. No, so that's at home. I usually... I keep that in my basement because that boy is heavy. That boy like a dang deep freezer for So real. when they pay four fifty, they they get... They get in that bar setup that you see. Okay, the bar setup. Yeah. But if they want the slushy machine, they can pay for it. You bring that too. I don't do that yet because it's so heavy. Like, okay, I'm, it's only you. me. Got you, got you, got you. I want to, though, like, I want to get the uh, slushy machine somewhere. I want to get it into that event center that I was telling you all about, honestly, since I bar team there. But got you. I also been trying to get I'm been trying to get contracts where I'm the only bartender wherever I go. So if I'm doing a like and then it's, people would have like a concert or whatever and then they're trying to have two bartenders and now me and this bartender beefy because I always end up getting more than her. And now she blocking me on social media stuff like that. Like I don't mean it. So I don't like that I don't like that competition that it, it creates when people put us together or put us in the same in a close foot Monistity of each other because me personally, I could bartend for about 250 people, 300 people just by myself, and it won't be a line. What's the largest wow. event you ever Wow, had? damn. The car shows. Car shows. Car shows. 200 I, people, no line. Easy, no line. I have Everybody my, be laid out. Who's, who's <laughs> left? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, I'll have my cousin help my cousin. Uh, she'll just help, but she don't know nothing about bartending. All she do is like probably take money. Okay. I don't like touching money while I'm making drinks, so right. I just go ahead and let her handle all cashier stuff, um, maybe giving them straws or giving them business cards, doing, like, the little side stuff. But me making them drinks, I'll be getting out of there fast. Wow. Now, if you had to bring in help, you would have to train them. Now, do they have to be licensed as well? I would prefer them to be licensed so that way I don't got to teach them from jump because you're not going to waste my liquor. I'm not a club. You know, it's it's harder <laughs> for me. <laughs> and that's why it's, I never really hired anyone. Like, there's been times where I've been needing someone. Like, I would probably have, like, two events. And that's another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to buy, like, start buying two vendor spots. So it's like, if I if y'all want two bartenders, y'all think y'all need two bartenders, okay, let me, let me go ahead and give you 400 instead of 200 and yeah, I get all the money to myself because I really want to take over the game. Like, I want it to be just me. You need to do like the real who, soul that festival, sound like? everything. Remember when I called you and I said, I want to take this over completely. There I want to be is. the best. Period. Yeah. This, this, and you and people say it's cities. money for all of us. It is money for all of us, but like y'all got to find y'all own little lane. Like, I already got this lane. I already, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I do this. Uh, I, I like her attitude. I love her attitude. <laughs> And, no, and you know what? And we need no. We need more of this uh, mediocre shit. Get to the side of the road attitude in general with everything in this town. Right. Because like, uh, there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of that. Yes. Right. Everybody. Like this mediocre ass shit is just fine by me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she doing it for me. I don't like that. Like it's like she, I told my dad. At, young, you got time. I told Man. my dad at the top of the year. Like she I want to start doing. Yeah. I'm like I know my logo is a little too much for the more elegant events like a wedding. Cause a girl, it's a black girl with a bandana on, and just the name itself saying "Hustle Girl." It's, it gets well. Kinda... Let me tell you something. Aunt Jemima lasted for about a hundred fucking years. How, yeah. how long is Aunt Jemima? I mean, you know what I'm they saying. They just changed. I that say or keep it. That's I say that keep it. The girl with the little fist. 
I got that. I got my logo from her. The girl with the fist and the bandana. That's where I got oh, my oh, idea. Oh, Rosie the Riveter. Yeah. Right. I got my Stay logo. with that. I got yeah. my logo from that girl. I say keep lady. it. I think it's fire. But when it comes to weddings and more elegant events, sometimes it is a little too much. Just a little bit. And I understand. But I told my dad, like, I don't even want to do elegant events. Like, do you see me? I like wearing street clothes. I'm not the bartender <laughs> to put on suspenders and you know bow and a tie bow tie i will if i have to if it is a wedding event or a real elegant event i got it i got the uniforms for that but i'm gonna feel so out of place if i had to make like those really really luxurious <laughs> drinks okay, and you yeah. know what i'm saying and use these real different types of sages and no you just want to go for it i want to go for it and so yeah, i was telling him like you could like make other like say we they hire other people have other bartenders doing events while you're doing one so you got that's what i want to do i want to i was thinking about doing that but now i was like that's little money i mean it's 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 Whoa. like if i get that trailer i already know what that's going to do like at first it was something on the list but i knocked it off like it's time to get it's time it's time to get bigger what about Man. sporting events like the pistons game or something like that mm, i haven't got there yet i haven't got there yet because you know those certain places also Especially certain venues, they don't let. They already have the bar there. Most of those kind of places already have a bar there, so it's hard for me to get in those kind of places. And I mean, at some point, you are going to run. I, I, I mean, fair warning, you are eventually going to run into uh, uh, the problem where the uh, all the liquor and alcohol vendors mm -hmm. and distribution and all that is the closest thing to a legal criminal enterprise we have in the United mm -hmm. States. The way that's all running, so. So do do what you're doing and find a way to keep your head down just a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's another thing, yeah. Like, I don't promote, like, okay, one, it's illegal for me to bring liquor to an event. You guys are, if you was to book me, you guys are supposed to provide the liquor. But let me tell you how my first year went with that little situation. People were buying the cheapest liquors because they don't want to spend money on the stuff that they know dang well they drink. You don't yeah. drink. You know the cheap liquors all the time, but just because you're having a party, you buying twist out, twisted shot sodas, and you know what I'm saying, and root. Dr. Root. K. You know so, what I'm saying? So let me, okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So a guy asks you out, or a guy asks you to come over his house, mm -hmm. and you see his liquor, so that tells you a lot about him, right? So you see what he's drinking, so you're like, oh, well, you're a scrub, right? You know what's crazy? If <laughs> <laughs> or he takes you I out to dinner, he some orders <laughs> some shit, and you're like, you're a scrub. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. See? That's bad. And I've seen, but for me, though, it's when I come to your house. You know, I'm young. Right. So half the time, if they do got liquor in their house, it's empty bottles that they think look sweet on top of their refrigerator. <laughs> Damn. You know, because I'm hit young. Me that's, hurt. that's something that. That's my college. Damn. So for all of you guys out there with the empty, empty bottles, bottles. <laughs> sitting up on top of your damn refrigerator. Listen, listen. Like, I just wanted to throw it just away. Isn't cool cause at all. Why the, do you have this? The ladies are not that impressed by that bottle of 1738 wow. you had multiple. six <laughs> months ago. It's multiple bottles. Uh, like you like, have a collection of empty bottles <laughs> as your bar. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm like, let me just have it. Let me just have it. Because I probably put my slushies in there and resell it for you. Because... But it showed me how bad your kidneys are. That's wow. what automatically Ooh, what I see man. when I see it. It's like, mm, <laughs> it's time to get out of here. So if you, go out, if you go out to dinner, you sit with a guy, he takes you out to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. What drink could he order that would turn you completely off? Probably beer, honestly. It wouldn't even be an actual drink. It would probably be if he ordered beer because I'm like, oh, he, he hardcore. <laughs> For me. <laughs> man. He hardcore. Like, Is there a beer that, like would count as the classy pick? Like, because I, I can understand there's a difference between ordering okay. a PBR and, oh, uh, I don't know, a Red Stripe. Y'all don't understand oh, how young I'm literally only 20. So imagine me talking to maybe a 25-year-old who's ordering beer. Right. And it's like, oh, he crazy. Like, for me, that's like, you know, you too old for me. Like, I would see a 30-year-old ordering beer at Budweiser and stuff like that, Bud Light. And then even then, I'm just like, or Modelo. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool. But I know you too old for me. Like, you ready for marriage. Right. <laughs> Golly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So, so old men drink beer. See, man. That's the 30 and up my... club. It's similar to me. It's similar to someone, a man smoking cigarettes. Right. It's too grown. It's too mature for me. Like, I'm used to somebody just ordering a shot of a shot of Aneo, Patron, or, you know, whatever, Dark Hennessy or something like that. Something regular, not 
they start ordering like so he, a, bud, a, a bud like the Newport. Order over. a, a oh. Modelo. Oh, if you smoke cigarettes in general, it's over. We, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's over from the first right, second wait. I see him pull it out his pocket. As soon as I see the box, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You gotta call your bestie. Like, look. Oh man. Bestie, oh, this got not a gonna ride home. Oh, she she oh, cutting and slaying like a mug. Okay, oh, yeah. We're going to go to break for a minute with Chanel. We're going to go to break for about five. <laughs> and we'll be back with Chanel Buckner from Hustle Girl Mixology in about five. Feeling chilly? SG Heating and Cooling. Fixing it right, day or night. SG Heating and Cooling is located at 7005 Cooley Lake Road in West Bloomfield. SG offers free estimates on new equipment and 0% interest financing for up to 18 months. Eligible equipment qualifies for rebates from Consumers Energy and DTE. SG will clean your furnace, verify it is working properly, and perform a safety inspection for only $59. SG also offers duct cleaning and sanitizing starting at $300. You can find us on the web at sgheatingcooling.com or call 248-242-6730 today for all of your heating and cooling needs. SG Heating and Cooling, fixing it right, day or night. 248-242-6730. Do you remember turning 18? Do you remember feeling independent? Was it a cause for celebration? Well, this week, four young adults in the state of Michigan will arrive at the age of independence and will lose the support of the foster care system that has seen them through some of the hardest times in their lives. They are tough and intelligent. Some will land on their feet no matter what. But let's talk about how much better the world would be if all of them had the support that allowed you to celebrate your independence. The question is, what can you do? Unring the Bell is a weekly show, Tuesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. right here on Cave Radio. We will be featuring interviews and in-studio guests geared towards creating a support system for these young adults that gives them the best chance to land on their feet and truly celebrate their independence. We will be exploring ways to use the trades, music, art, and technology to unring the bell. And we invite you to join us Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Be there. We're back with the real podcast. I'm sorry, we're back with the real nonsense podcast with Chris and Mel. If you're thinking about retirement or need to reevaluate your life insurance needs, prepare you for your future today. Contact Melody at Melodic Retirement Services to make an appointment for a consultation at 248 301 2439. So we're back with our guest, Chanel Buckner from Hustle Girl Mixology with the fire, and I do mean fire, fire, fire drinks. Fire marketing, fire everything. She's done her thing with this for sure, for sure, for sure. So when we left off, we were where? Uh, <laughs> Talking about this date in life with people right. in there. Oh, I was at the bottom yeah. of my bottle. Yeah. Sorry. Throw your bottles <laughs> yeah. So when you hang with your homegirls and, you, and and and, mm-hmm. and they they like you just so you can't drink if you if you were drinking. Okay, you I'm drink the dark. mom of my friends. Oh, you're the mom. You know, Tiffany Hansbro is still my best friend to this oh, day. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah. me and her be everywhere together. Don't leave each other's side. And she probably will probably take a sip more than I probably will. But if I do decide to, you know, indulge, I'm going to be too turnt in the next two shots. Yeah, so, so you can't, can't, like, you can't bartend me. and drink. No. Do bartenders drink while they bartend? Yes, they do. Yeah. They do. Do you have respect for that? Yeah, of course. But look, if I was to drink while on a job, 
I probably would get more tips. Because then I'm going to be more comfortable to flirt and do all of that extra stuff. Got you. It's going to be a little bit more. So like, you're strictly business. Like, don't talk to me. Don't try to get my number. I try not to. First year definitely was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Straight facing these people while I'm uh, bartending. <laughs> but no, now I'm like, I actually got no no shade to the people with the disabilities or anything. But I'll be flirting now and getting, trying to be open. And I got somebody in a wheelchair number trying to flirt too much and I like didn't know like how to say no because I was just playing <laughs> <laughs> and I just noticed a whole different like I just <laughs> man oh. I just noticed like it just flashed in my eyes trying to talk to this dude in a wheelchair like it, I couldn't do it I couldn't bring myself to do it and I just had to leave him alone because I couldn't do it that wasn't that wouldn't have been right I, it was so much. You know, you see a, was a future. You see, I just seen a vision. I foreshadowed what would it be. <laughs> and I was like, this Ouch. ain't going to work. And that was because I was, that was my fault because I was flirting with him while I was pouring his drape. And feeding him alcohol at the same time. I know. Wow. I got his number. I was texting him for like, I, mean, I was talking to him for like two You're days. Him. I was texting him, texting him for like two days. And he kept calling me and stuff like that, saying how he was going to see me. And I'm just thinking, your, your brother going to have to come everywhere we go? <laughs> You know, because he got to help you out. I don't know how to move you nowhere. I mean, not move you nowhere. You know <laughs> yeah, we, we get the whole picture. We got it. <laughs> we, we got hey, don't, don't sleep on a handicap. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with the handicap Man, community. I no, no, it's not. It is what it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> Terry over there died. He's dying today. He's just dying. It's, it's the Remy, I'm telling you. <laughs> The we're knockout punch. A really good time, that's all. <laughs> yeah, we're having a great time. We're having a great time. We're having a great time. So, it, as mm-hmm. we get ready to close out, if somebody wanted to get into this business and do what you do, I mean, what advice would you give them right now? They were like, "Hey, this is what I, I want to do. I heard her." I want them to love what they do. I want if there's something that you want to do, I want you to find a love in it, a real passion for it. It's not something like everyone could be a bartender and go to Chili's and bartend, but if you want to. It to be a real business. No, you. The only way you could be creative if it's something that you really love. Like in order for you to stand out, it has to be something that keeps you coming back and keeps you addicted to it. Um, that would be my biggest advice. And then my other advice would be to unfollow and block anybody else that's a bartender and try to get them to unfollow you. Like every time you see a bartender follow you, you gotta unfollow them, especially if they're in the same state, because it's just too much competition. I don't want you. I don't want to feel like you copy me or I'm copying you. Mm. I mean, it's so much. You could you could find your um, what's the word? You could find who you like and you know who you, who who inspires you on going on YouTube. You don't gotta find it through me. Do you get do you get a lot of negative comments and stuff like that? Do you do you get that often at all? No. Has social media been a problem? The only co- the only negative comments that I've gotten was you can't taste the liquor, <laughs> and um, another one would be that I'm too young. Cause I'm only twenty, but it's like that's that's nothing to me. That that that's good. Like yeah, I'm trying cool. to understand. It's no, it's no. That's actually dope. Because what if you're twenty years old? You got a dispensary. What difference did it make? I mean, it's, nice. this guy's is twenty like, years old. Like I just did an event. Right. I did an event. And a lady was basically selling, she was, it was brought to me when I was pouring or whatever that I would have to sell the liquor. And this was a, a the event place that it was held at. They could have got their business stuff taken away or got shut down because they're not supposed to sell. And I was like, I was just still selling for her or whatever. And then she basically said, like, I didn't know nothing about bartending and everything to save her own back and say that I was too young to mm. save her own self. I understood, but but she hired you, right? Then they hired the event you to center in? hired me. Oh wow! And I was wondering because it was like my first time or second time, you know, at this event center. So I'm like, sell. If I was so gonna sell, you- I would have bought my homegirl that I'd be telling y'all my cousin right. to come be cashier. I don't like touching money. Now I was wondering because I was like, okay, you could come help me. You could come help me, and then I'm mixing my own money with her chain. No, I'm mixing my money in with my tip jar. And thinking that we, you know, to get her change and stuff like that. And so when they giving me tips, I'm putting it back into my tip jar. Then I'm taking my own money, putting that back into my tip jar. So I'm gonna keep going in my purse. Gotcha. Find out, 
we supposed to be shit. We supposed to be splitting tips with the girl that was helping me. Oh, I was so upset because at this point I didn't even count what money I did put in. Nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta have a a sidekick. Really, yeah, I gotta have a sidekick because when it comes to money, like pouring drinks plus that money, you gotta get dyslexic a little bit. You probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you look over here, you a double shot, like $14 and seven a shot. Wow. So, listen, this has been a great conversation for us. I know for me it has been. Oh, yeah. And uh, I wish my host, Melody, was here today. You know, she right, she's out she's drink. out visiting with family for the holidays. So, bl- good blessings to you, Mel, out there. And uh, so, listen, we're going to close this out. This has been um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a, a, a entertaining, to say the least, interview. <laughs> And uh, so we're out. This is the Real Nonsense Podcast where we make it make sense. Peace.